So tonight, just going to apply a little bit of common sense to this whole thing about, you know, the Mi A3 only having a 720 display. Oh, my God. Well, folks, I'm going to show you some pictures after the intro, and you ain't going to be able to tell the difference. So let's get to the intro right now. And then let's uh, start turning those common sense gears, you know, putting it in gear and thinking about what you really need, not what you've been led to believe you must have. Let's get to the intro now. All right, folks, I'm back. And now I'm going to show you Let's start off with a shot I took on the Xiaomi here, comparing the uh, Alcatel 7, which is a 1080, full brightness to my new mobile G3. Full brightness, you tell me which one looks sharper and brighter. Yeah, you can't. You just can't. Uh, so, that's the thing. That 720 stuff is in here. I mean, if you get right up to the screen, you could probably tell. But if you get right up to the screen, there's something wrong with you anyway. You're looking for faults that really won't affect you in day-to-day -day use. Uh, you get a slightly smaller screen on the Mi A3 than you do the Redmi Note 8, you know, which is it's direct. You know they're pretty much the same phone. The only difference is one camera. You get a macro camera on the uh, uh, Redmi Note 8. That's it. Same processor. Same camera modules, uh, same ability to shoot at whatever uh, resolutions. Whatever's on the Redmi Note 8 is on the Mi A2 or A3. Big difference, though. Big difference. Uh, with the Note 8, you do get a back fingerprint reader, which I would prefer, but. Uh, then I draw the line, though, at MIUI. No, thank you. No, thank you. I, I'm not doing the film navigation. Now, of course, you can put an Overlauncher Prime on it. I've already bought it one, so I could put it on every phone I own if I wanted to. But I prefer pure Google. You're going to get pure Google on the Mi A3. Uh, I'm sure you're going to lose a little functionality. But at least you can go back to your nav buttons. And you're going to get, if it doesn't come with it, the Mi A3 is going to get, very shortly, the Android 10 update. The Mi A2 has already got it. I don't see any reason why Xiaomi hasn't pushed it out yet, uh, other than the fact that they may be you know, doing it in steps, because uh, the Mi A3 and the Mi A2 and the Mi A1 were hugely popular in India. You know, and we might think we're the center of the earth, folks, but India, you know, they dwarf us by about two or three hundred million. It's a poor economy. They tend to buy budget phones, and they know good phones when they see them. They want phones that will get the job done, and they love their Mi phones. Uh, the Mi A1, A2, A3, all big sellers over there. So, and huge advantage, of course. Uh, the Mi A3 is Android 1, so you know, you'll get that update. You might never see an update on the Redmi Note 8. I mean, Xiaomi comes out with a new phone like every week and a half, and then they got to put their skin on top, and that's a pain in the ass. And so, uh, it's not the same as just taking, you know, you take the Google Android uh, 10, and you just send it out. Plop, and you plop it down on there. And all your shit's there. Nothing's changed. Uh, you just have Android 10. And you get the latest security updates. So if you're giving this phone away, you're letting your kid use it, uh, whatever, or giving it to mom and dad, they're not going to care about the 720. Let's take another comparison shot here. This one I shot on the Alcatel. I'm going to show you two. Here's the Alcatel shot that I took comparing the uh, this phone, the uh, Mi A2, with its 1080 display. Both of these were at full blast on the 
screens. I, I can tell you for a fact, the uh, new mobile G3, much brighter in outdoor use, much easier to deal with. Uh, and the Mi A3 has AMOLED, the Redmi Note 8 only has IPS. Whoops, yeah. So, I haven't actually got hands on the Mi A3 yet. If I do, uh, it, believe me, there'll be a video out like that. Probably shot on the Mi A3 right away. That'll be a first, you know, foray into shooting uh, the phone. Uh, Here's another shot I took, you know, kind of a slightly different angle. You tell me which one looks better. You know, the A2 here? Or the new mobile? They're both IPS displays, incidentally. You know, the Mi A3 would blow it away as far as, you know, inky blacks and all that good stuff. So, uh, just a little common sense. It's what you need. You. This thing will still shoot stellar photos. You're going to get the same photo quality out of it. Unless you like going around shooting bugs or leaves up close. And in that case, if, if that's one of your hobbies, uh, you're probably using a quality real camera, not a cell phone camera. You're going to use a digital camera with a quality macro lens. One that you can finally adjust. And you don't have to worry about the camera going, oh, I, I, I want to you know, apply some AI effects. It's like, no, 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 I just want the damn picture. Um, so let's apply some common sense, folks. That's all I have to tell you. Common sense. Use your heads. Don't fall for what the big time reviewers tell you. I mean, it's their job to go over the flagships, too. But they ain't talking about the phones less than 200 bucks. And you can get the Redmi Note 8 and the Mi A3 roughly at the same price. Once again, if you like pill navigation, go for it. Get the Note 8. If you like a rear fingerprint reader, go for it. If you can put up with the pill navigation. If you want to get the latest updates and constant security patches, get the Mi A3 and be done with it. It's a good phone. It'll get the job done. I can't wait to get my hands on one. The me, the Redmi Note 8 is tempting. Now, I've seen the, the reviews. Uh, Jay Williams did one. And I did a kind of an in-depth comparison based on the one he put out. You know, based on what I know from using the Mi phones. And I went over all the differences you know, in detail. Uh, I'll link that at, at the end. Just check the links in the description below for links to the, everything we've talked about. Uh, the Mi A2, uh, the uh, Mi A3, the version tech headset here, and the Impel selfie stick, which we're going to use to stop this video as soon as I'm done. I love this remote. Uh, and remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the little bell. We try to put out cast account, you know, content. Today we got two out, so that's you know, kind of a record on a Sunday. Usually I like to lay back and just relax. So that's all I have for this evening. Two quick segments and we are out of here. <laughs>